In this video, I'm going to show how I've turned a disaster from the Manakapoa eggs on the first attempt into free swimmers. If you cast your mind back to this video here, you'll see what went wrong. But in this video, it's going to start off on a negative, but work its way back to a positive. I'm just busy trying to get some of the rubbish out, some of the dead fry, but obviously haven't made it. So sit back and relax, and I'll take you on the journey so far. Look how much they have coloured up. So it was at this stage I began to realise that the second batch might be underway. So it looks like they've picked a leaf and they're busy preparing it. So I'm not actually 100% that these two are actually a pair because the one over by the eggs is now turned on this one so I don't even know if it's worth pulling the eggs because we might have a couple of sheilas on the nest I think it's probably wise that I leave it for a couple of days see if any get fertilised but then again it might have been just a lover's tiff because they seem to be all right there now. Well, this is day two, and I can only see one white egg so far, possibly two or three. So here we are, day three, and I've woke up to no eggs. Typical. <laughs> so they've both had them through the night. So what can I say? At least they were fertile until last night. And all of a sudden, boom, it. But then this happened. So I thought what I'd try to do is put a bit of slate in to see if they would lay the eggs on that to make removal of the eggs easier. But the angelfish had other plans. So the slate idea has been a bust for the angelfish eggs. But they have found another big leaf. So I'm going to try the methylene blow again. Hopefully this time it works out better. And I'm also going to try and keep the leaf and the eggs in the water and not take them out of the water. Well that was easy enough. Right. Right, air stone. Some of that. God damn it. So, as you've just seen, I've decided to pull the eggs and try the methylene blow again. Hopefully, this time it shall work. When I put the eggs in here, yeah, there was no white ones. There was five white eggs this morning, but the angel fish have picked them out for us prior to me pulling the eggs. So, there you can see, I think there's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. About 10 of the eggs have won white. So when I was cleaning it this morning, I noticed a large black patch at the bottom of the jug. So when I took it out and had a close inspection, I seen this. A load of wrigglers. Woo! 
So as you can see, I've upgraded me a little method of how to get me fry up. Beating the PM, and bought one of them little makeup bag basket things that you get in the cheap shops. I had been using the blue sponge in one of the handle slots, but it's too coarse and the fry were actually getting trapped in the coarse. So I've probably lost a couple because of that. But this makes it so much easier than now finishing off the own little egg sacks and I am polluting the water a lot more with egg yolk. So this is how easy it is. Basically, take some water out of the tank and gently pour it in. Quite a few. Got lots of free swimmers. I've also got quite a few that have obviously not made it. But we'll sort that out later. Mind there's loads of free swimmers. So hopefully this works. So slight little upgrade. I would an airline in the top of the monster's filter to take a drip feed back in to save me doing water changes. All I have to do now, water changes on the tank. I mean, I'm not trying to breed for profit. All I'm trying to do is breed to see I can. That's all. So hopefully I can, and I can move on to the next project. So I was giving them egg yolk when they first started to hatch to see them from egg sacs to baby brain, but it was polluting the water quite a bit. Um, so I have switched to liquid fry food just to get them up to that, ready to take baby brain shrimp. Once they take baby brain shrimp, they'll be having that. Nothing for the best for these little puppies. I've said nothing but the best for these little puppies, but actually it's the George stuff. Um, didn't get me hatchery sorted out. Haven't got any eggs sent to us yet. So it's going to be the little George stuff for now until to make it to the next stage, a little triangles. I'll make it on like I had something to do with it. It was all the angel fish's fault. So I've set up a little hatchery with an airline, a bit sponge to fill it up, stop them swimming out really. And also constant water feed from that side in and through the sponge. Hopefully that gives us enough to keep us from constant water changes. All it's doing is picking up a feed from the tank, monster filter. I'm lucky because I was actually going to take the monster filter out, but monster filter pumps it into there, normally goes down there, back down, up and out. But what I've done is I've just put an air, airline tube in, siphoned a little bit back in, into here. So it's getting tank water constantly there. And as long as I keep up both my water changes, and keep this as low as I can for the night rats. That should be okay. I'd really like to say it's been easy, but I've struggled. I'll be honest with you, I've struggled. Um, this is the third attempt. Um, as it happens, when these are on the go, they've also done it again in the tank. So if this doesn't work, I've got a second batch to fall back onto to carry on. But I think as crossed, this does work this time. Um, I've got lots of free swimmers. Uh, let's just hope that some make it to the next little stage and they start to look like little triangles. And I'll bring you back for that video from free swimmers to little triangles for part three, the Manakapo angelfish egg breeding project. So until next time, ta-ra!